All right, what's going on, dudes? And welcome back to Jerry's Laboratory, where today I've got some more state-of-the-art command block technology to show you. This time, it's been created by Mr. Guerrero, who is another one of the world's leading command block engineers, and he's figured out how to create a ping pong table. It's pretty fantastic, so let's dive right into this research. First, we're gonna need to make the different components. So we have a paddle, we have the table, we have ping pong balls, and then, of course, we have to have someone to play against. So let's make this all. We've already got the command rolling, so we'll just need to throw the pressure plate and the stick on the ground in order to make the paddle. Then we'll need to make the uh, table by throwing the redstone repeater and the weighted pressure plate on the ground. That makes the table looks awfully like a piston, but I assure you, it's a ping pong table or a table tennis table, whatever, uh, whatever lingo you prefer to use. And finally, we need some balls. So button and uh, some bone meal will give us the ping pong ball. Now, if we want to put this thing down here, we'll just uh, make the table by, or well, we'll assemble the entire mechanism by putting the table down, combine it with the paddle, and then there we go. We've got the table tennis table, and we can plop that on the ground, and there we go. So you'll notice, very fancy. It's, um, it's quite state of the art. As I'd mentioned earlier, it's got the line down the middle, as you know, we need. It's got a beautiful glass net, very, very fancy. Um, and then, of course, we've got these amazing wooden paddles. Real wood, no plastic up in here. Now, of course, we are going to need someone to play against. So, for this challenge right here, we've got uh, a willing test subject. So, <laughs> we're able to either play against a villager or if we have someone else here, but we're forever alone in Jerry's laboratory. Um, although we are with Jerry's spirit. Um, so, we can use, uh, we can play against another uh, testificate. Again, you can grab a friend if you have one of those and uh, you're able to play against them as well. So the way it works is as, as long as we're standing right in front of the table here, we can look and as we do that, the paddle will follow where we're looking. It's like telekinetic ping pong. It's pretty fascinating actually. I don't know exactly how it works, but um, rest assured, it works pretty well. So let's serve up the ball. We just want to drop it right into our paddle and there we go. So we just want to, oh, you missed it. Yeah, get wrecked, bud. All right, let's reserve again. And uh, let's try to play to uh, first three points. I have one here, so boom. And I misserved. That's not, we're not gonna count that. We're not gonna count that. I just have to make sure I serve into the ball and it gets active and then, oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Don't ask me how he's playing ping pong because I really have no idea, but he is. <laughs> so as long as we're deflecting the ball, we just need to make sure we look, get the paddle in front of it. Yeah, he missed it again, get wrecked. You're terrible at ping pong, get on my level. All right, here we go, we got this again. Just for the sake of demonstrating, I'll show you what it actually looks like if I um, if I miss. So this is only a practice, don't you get too cocky here. All right, here we go, here we go. So, he missed it again, what an amateur. Now, according to the documentation on this, some testificates are actually better at this than others. So, armor seems to be kind of an amateur up in here. But anyway, I'll show you what happens if I miss. So, I'll just bring this over here. And uh, it says that I missed the ball. And then we can grab it again and uh, resume. Again, all you need to do to serve is uh, make sure you're like looking directly through the paddle, drop it in. And then, of course, when I'm instructing it, <laughs> I don't do it properly. There we go. All right. So it, I missed the ball. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. Well, hey, you know what? It happens to the best of us. All right, hey, this is all or nothing right here, man. Okay, boom, let's do this. Not gonna miss this time. You better, you better miss this. It's for all the marbles right here. It's the ultimate world championship tournament taking place right now on Mine SPN or something. It's a new TV network that I just created that's pretty awesome. All right, dude, this is a freaking intense battle. This is a heck of a rally going on here. He keeps on doing that side. All right, I can, I can dance all day. You can, we can keep doing this. We can keep doing this all day. This is what you're gonna do. We're gonna have some deflections going on here. You're gonna hit a cross court shot. Maybe I can like cross court it or something. Come on. There we go. You just keep hitting at the same place. What is your strategy? I don't know what your strategy is. Come on, switch it up. You can do it. He missed it. Woo! In your face. And drop the mic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Said he missed the ball. All right. Well, not only can you play against a live friend or play against a testificate, but two testificates can play against each other. And I happen to know of a pretty incredible tournament that's just been lined up that we're gonna go to right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Testificate Ping Pong Championships. In this corner, 
We've got the Yellowites. And in this corner, we've got the Redmen. They're gonna be duking it out with their respective champions to see who takes home the crown. And with that, we'll head on over to Bob the Announcer to intro us to the contenders. Well, thank you, Jordan, for that delightful introduction. And without further ado, I'm pleased to introduce to you our competitors from Team Yellowites. None other than the reigning World Testificate Ping Pong Champion himself, Rick McMuffins! Now it's rumored, Rick can actually hit a quarter using a ping pong ball from a range of over a mile away. No one knows how he does it, but will he be able to defend his title against our new kid on the block? Who is, of course, the hometown favorite, Dick McCluckins from Team Redmond, coming off of a hot win! against Creeper Leone. He's looking for blood tonight. We'll see if he can find it. Thanks for that, Bob. Well, it would appear that our two competitors are taking their places at the championship table, and the match here is about to begin. As the officiator myself, I will be serving the ball so that we can get each round started. It'll be first to three points. We'll see who takes it. Will it be the new kid, Dick McCluckins? or the veteran defending world champion, Rick McMuffins. Let's get this started. Here we go, and we're about to serve. Are you ready? It would appear you are. Let's do this. Let's do this. And point number one, oh my goodness, off the bat, Dick McCluckins with a miss. That is one point to Rick McMuffins. Dick, what are you doing? Here we go, serve number two. And now we've got a rally on our hands. It could be anybody's game. Dick's putting some spin on it, but Rick seems to be able to deflect it without any problems. We're having a heck of a back and forth here. Both of the competitors seem extremely talented with their ball handling. Dick pushing forward a little bit here, trying to get some added spin on it, but Rick seems able to deflect. Oh, he's adding a little bit of jazz on it himself. Still back and forth, what a rally. This is what the competitors came here to <gasps> And Captain Sparkles misses the ball. Dick, what did we tell you about using an alias? You can't do that, you, you just can't do that. Dick steps away from the table, nobody knows why, but that seems to be two points in favor of the defending champion, Rick McMuffins. Here we go, Rick for the serve. For the potential win, will he be able to take it? Looks like we just have to do a little redo on that one. There we go. Well, it would appear that we've got a pretty even rally on our hands. Who's going to take it, though? We had a little bit of a levitation knuckleball taking place right there. That was very, very talented coming from the veteran. But it looks like they're both contending pretty well with each other. Could be anybody's game. Will Dick be able to handle the pressure of this final rally here? Or will Rick take the victory and defend his title in a quick three-point game? Still going back and forth here. It could be anyone. Both players trying their hardest. You can see the sweat dripping off of their forehead. Nobody knows which way it's gonna go. Look at what they're doing. Look at the talent. Look at the concentration. It's just incredible. Who's going to take the victory here? A rally this long hasn't been seen since the 1997 Testificate Ping Pong World Champions. Oh my goodness. What a game. Oh my goodness. And Dick McCluckins misses it. It's a sweep for the defending world champion, Rick McMuffins. Wow. You know, I got to hand it to you. That is not at all what I was expecting here from the announcer's desk. Well, Bob, uh, can we take it on over to you for the post-game interviews with our champion, Rick McMuffins? Well, let me tell you, Jordan, Rick was so pleased with himself. I just had such a difficult time getting him away from the table. Rick, how are you feeling after that tremendous victory over the new guy, Dick McCluckins? Well, Jordan, you have it here. Rick McMuffins, a man of few words. Oh, just a beautiful 
post-game interview from Rick McMuffins. If only I could be half the man he was. What? Uh, what, 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 what? We're on the air? Um, uh, w ladies and gentlemen, what a match you just witnessed. Uh, Rick McMuffins walking away with the victory. Um, I really, really hope you enjoyed that uh, terrific, terrific table tennis action. And uh, Dick McCluckins just seems to be dumbfounded, staring off into space. He... He can't cope with the loss that he just experienced. So, poor guy. You, you can't help but feel a little bit sorry for him. Well, without further ado, folks, I think we're going to wind things down. But as always, this World Testificate Ping Pong Championship has been brought to you by Mr. Guerrero's uh, Ping Pong Research. So, if you have any interest in that, you can find all the info about this wonderful product in the description, including anything you'll need to play for yourself. So... That said, thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.